All right. I can't wait. I can't wait to be fucked in my ass. Please fuck my asshole. Damn, I'm stuffed. Stuffed yeah. to the gills. Nice, we, had, we had a nice, nice little lunch. sushi lunch. Mm-hmm. I had the chirasu. I hope you're all ready for a nice, sleepy... A chirasu. Yeah. A the chirasu. The in the yapusi. They uh, unclothed me and delicately <laughs> yeah. placed the pieces of, of fish course, the fuck. I'm body. not going to eat sushi without a naked fucking mm-hmm. model. Why is that like a symbol of Wall Street bro power? It's like, we're going to get a bitch... I think it's fish probably started with from the Yakuza. Yeah, I guess they did that first. What do you mean, why is that a symbol of Wall Street? I mean, is that something that's hot, you know? Are they like, this This rocks. You're making it's, a woman it's like, yeah, a it's, plate. It's so explicit and obvious. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't even, I don't even know why you would ask that question. It's, why know, is it it's like a gay. Wall Street bro thing to do cocaine and go to a strip club? <laughs> well, that makes more I don't, sense. I don't get it. <laughs> Honestly, like, that know, makes it's so more, far no. from like what I would do to a woman. I would I imagine I would her. have lunch and yeah, I would, I would, I would ask her what books she's read. <laughs> of course I would talk and to her. And then be like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> And then just I have a Wikipedia and I'm just saying, under the table <laughs> reading about the book because actually what I heard uh, was yes that book by <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> ah yes uh, Neil Strauss mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, well I've read it. I I especially enjoy the part about how it's about especially interactions between men and women mm. I loved uh, she's like, like oh you you know so cute so much <laughs> <laughs> oh Adam is this is a completely this naked a Japanese man. woman <laughs> Oh, thank you for respecting me yeah, instead like of putting, being putting food on my body. <laughs> I, I have spent the last 20 years in America as lunchbox. That's like my I, point. I, was, I have been charcuterie board for the <laughs> last 20 years. <laughs> and now because you re- respect me and finally stood up to the Wall Street bros. <laughs> Thanks, and they're yeah. un, they're, <laughs> with their behavior that's so beyond the comprehension. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it I is think, pretty obvious, I think Adam. doing cocaine and banging whores but you get, is but a lot It's the same thing. Than, Why would they go to a strip club? They're eating sushi off titties. Yeah, but a woman is just lying there in a strip club. Yeah, they're making the money. pussy pop. They're... Doing, they're doing dances off of a sure, pole. Sure, absolutely. That's but this is just mm. there's artistry. The, they, in fact, they have. It's a I have show. To, they have turned a, a fucking see a me plate in my mind who actually wouldn't do those kind because of, you would absolutely have that woman at your party. A you would woman to eat. Yeah, food you would off frame of? it as it being ironic, but you would be no. doing it anyway, so you would still be engaging in the behavior. No, I would. Me, on the other hand, Nick, the thing I would appropriate is that? the yakuza. Tradition of making people cut off parts of their fingers. Right. If yeah. they've shamed you. My, my look. I got my 32nd birthday's coming up. Uh, That's right. For December, the fifth baby. time. You yeah. Know? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm 52 years old. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, my 50th birthday's coming up. And whose fingers are we chopping off? Uh, well, honestly, it's like, you know, I got all the money in the world. Yeah. It doesn't mm-hmm. mean anything to me. Mm-hmm. You have but all if I had a, a select group of friends come over, and a couple of them were to cut their fingers off and present them to me that in, like, a little, would in a little, little plush box with, like, you know, we're in a big hall, and there's, like, a dragon with, like, a red carpet that yes. comes out of its mouth, and I'm seated at the front. <laughs> of course, of course. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know... What we, are you wearing? Uh, we rent out a Luby's, obviously, to do this. Mm-hmm. And, um, What's Luby's? It's a cafeteria in Texas. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. I think they've gone out of business. Well, we, we're getting there. Yeah. We're, we're revitalizing them. Uh, we're, Bob bringing the, we're, bringing, we're bringing the fucking dragon in with us. We're at a Bob's Big Boy. We bring a dragon bring a dragon. <laughs> we're, in in a per- uh, we're going to Perkins. We're renting the place out. <laughs> <laughs> and I say we're going to do something a little different. People are going to be cutting their fingers off. So can we use your knife? We'll bring our own knives. We'll bring our own knives. We'll bring our own knives. We're going to be nice, and we'll make sure that they don't get mixed up with the chef's stuff. But I will say we might require one of your chefs to cut one of their fingers. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll bring our own chefs. <laughs> That's fine. We want to make this work because it's got to be Perkins. It fits with the dragon motif. Absolutely, it's uh-huh. the the lost limbs. I think. Obviously, I don't have to point out the parallel there, ma'am. Of course. Ma'am, I'm making eye contact with you. Ma'am. Oh, yeah. Well, I understand. I know a breast isn't a limb, but you clearly have had a mastectomy due to some kind of <laughs> malignancy, I presume. 
Um, just imagine that I, in this situation, I am the doctor, but also uh, the cancer that mm-hmm. you respected enough to cut your breast off. To chop off for its birthday. Yeah, to chop off. <laughs> Honestly, that would Sorry, be... ma'am, I'm not laughing at you. I, I just had just a... just thought I had a funny thought. I, sometimes I just react to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was just man, ma'am, ma'am, I'm sorry. I'm not I'm really not trying to offend you. I was just imagining a baby being like, Where's the milk? Where's the milk? <laughs> and, you know, if, if it were to be your son or someone along those lines. But anyways, you see what I'm getting at is that it needs to be Perkins. Because it has to be Perkins. It has to be Perkins. We're doing it in here. And if the answer is no, I'll sneak in. You won't even see me. Yeah, I'll dress up as a Muslim. I'll we'll be in here. Try to kick me out wearing a full burqa and see what kind of press that gets you. Oh, that's going to be a shitstorm, sister, that you're not ready for. Yeah. Before you know it, this place is going to be covered in fingers. <laughs> I got a lot of friends that are willing to do a lot of things for me. <laughs> that is, honestly, that would be a way for like the the people that DM you, the guys that DM you trying to riff, mm-hmm. you should require a finger. Absolutely for each do not DM. suggest that people cut off their fingers <laughs> and send them to me. Mm-hmm. If I receive a single finger in the mail, the show is over. Uh, well, no, you're getting Adam's fingers mailed back to you. No, right. why is my it, fingers? Because I, in my mind, Strategy. it was you that suggested it. Because I brought up the lady. I think the about the you started the whole you started thing. You started the conversation. I started, Did I say it technically? You knew exactly sure. where I was going to go by bringing up that thing. It's mm-hmm. true. I am the puppeteer. You, you, you thought here's an opportunity to let the girls who listen to the show know that I'm a woman respecter, right? And also entrap Nick into getting fingers mailed to <laughs> No, it was all according to the plan. Yes. I'm just saying, if you're trying to riff... The protocols. I'm going to need to see a couple of The <laughs> others of Zion. <laughs> we're going to bring up, we're going to say we respect the women, and boy, that's going to I was do. just going to say... I, uh, I gonna, have to say... Pro- Protocols of the Elders of Zion sounds awesome. Yeah. It sounds like a rush out. That's can anyone, my, can that's anyone put r- an audio book on Apple Books or whatever? Because I would love to record the Protocols of Elders of Zion in that voice. <laughs> you, you're listening to the Protocols of the Elders of Zion by Woody Allen, Alan Dershowitz, and uh, Norman Finkelstein. I don't know, he kind of got caught up in that. For Sorry, some, Norman. Spent a while trying to make up for uh, his mistakes <laughs> with his first, first publication. <laughs> with the rest of his career. No, I, want, I want it to be like, the protocols of the elders of Zion. Oh, yeah, like a Zach Wilde fucking yeah. Getty Lee match. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd be cool. It's fantasy. It sounds like a fantasy yeah. concept I album. I think it sounds like a reggae. Take yeah. the Gentile babies. Yeah. Put them in a stew. That'd be cool. And then ba-dum, just, ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. The cover art looks like a Yes album. <laughs> exactly, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Protocols of the Others of Zion by Electric Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a pro- prog, prog rock. It's prog rock, rock dude. Yeah. Yeah. They go to the mountaintop. And kill all the Muslims. If you have a kite, we'll shoot you with a rocket. Oh, I forgot protocols, about the kites. Protocols. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about Israel saying, saying, saying that they were under attack by kites. Yeah. <laughs> They're sending flaming kites. <laughs> and you know why they and chose from the kites. mountains. <laughs> <laughs> and from the mountains they send the cars, <laughs> the flaming cars. <laughs> and, oh, little, little and we will little. spread the banks asunder, <laughs> controlling everyone. <laughs> and they think we don't control all the banks because they have names like Bank of America. <laughs> that is a good But trip. you know where the banks are rooted. Where the money ultimately goes. It goes back to a family named the Something Bergs <laughs> from 400 years ago. <laughs> they have a giant vault. They have a Scrooge McDuck room. <laughs> and they get drunk off the gold. <laughs> By they, I mean us. 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 We do it. In the context of this beard. In the context of this beard. We are the ones who sing the song. <laughs> the song of the protocols. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they came with the flying kites. Elders. Elders of Zion. Elders of Zion. The elders of Zion. <laughs> oh, little Israel had mm. no choice but to use missiles on them. Mm. Damn. Looks like Israel's got coronavirus pretty bad. Do right they? Now. Yeah. For Which, real? You know, I'm not going to say it, but ha ha. <laughs> 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 what goes around comes around. Way to fucking create it and send it to yeah. China. I'm not. Way to <laughs> try to play a little funny <laughs> classic Jewish joke on the Chinese. That is so us. <laughs> that is so us. <laughs> no, I haven't actually been paying attention to the news because I've been down in Borough Park protesting. Boys, we've got we've we've got a with the Hasids. We've got a plan. <laughs> it's think about it. The Chinese, we can almost switch everything over to them. They've got small dicks. They're annoying. <laughs> oh, the only thing that's missing is the allergies. <laughs> they're trying to take over the world. If we could just come up with a way to give them give allergies, them allergies. We'll give them. We got a disease. It's called COVID. <laughs> And we're going to send it over there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in bats. <laughs> Just the fucking juiciest, most delicious bats you've ever and seen. And we're going to have life. more. When more. Uh, naturally, obviously, we all turn into bats at midnight. <laughs> We're going to infect Mort with it, and he's going to fly to China at night. <laughs> he's going to fuck all their bats. He's going to fuck all their bats and infect them with it. They're regular bats, not their transforming <laughs> not bats. Not transformer Jew bats. Not, <laughs> not, us, not us vampire Jews that turn into bats at night. <laughs> They're regular, delicious Chinese bats. <laughs> and then they're going to... And then they're going to be <laughs> sneezing, blowing their nose all over the place. And people are going to say, what the hell is this? Is that a Jewish guy? <laughs> and they'll be like, no, it's Chinese. They're like, why don't we just do anti-Semitism to them? To them. There's a lot more. We, they could probably do 16 holocausts and still have 80 million Chinese left over. <laughs> it's a much better deal. It's a better deal. You think it's about it. Deal. Costco's basically, or China's basically the Costco of Holocaust. <laughs> it's a Holocaust go. <laughs> the you, you could get for for the same price to kill six million Jews. You could kill probably six billion Chinese. <laughs> a billion Chinese. Easy. It's a better deal. That's why they're taking over the world. Yep. They did the inverse move of the deals. That mm-hmm. was the problem with the Holocaust. It was too expensive. Too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Those dumb Germans. Yeah. They didn't know how to pinch pennies. <laughs> if only the <laughs> ironic because mm-hmm. who could have helped him cut costs yeah I bet like the end of mm-hmm. Schindler's List <laughs> yeah, we'll see how good you guys are at this Schindler's <laughs> best of luck I'll get on the train now <laughs> yeah Schindler's List where it's like you know at the end where he's like this could have been a person and this could have been a person you know or yeah. whatever yeah 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 just one of the Jewish guys been like oh maybe I could have been two buttons or <laughs> maybe three of, you know I don't know I've, it's a good trade. I don't know. <laughs> if you give me four of those buttons, I'll let you guess, man. <laughs> You're like, what are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? You're Jewish bastard. You're Jewish piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I see you? Black bastard. <laughs> black bastard. <laughs> black bastard. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to go kill a black My bastard. Fr- yeah, what the fuck was that? Was that was awesome. Out of nowhere. Yeah, right. I used to be racist. What? My, did He's just his friend home. got raped or something? Yeah, Deirdre. I think they're going to want me to go on the news and talk about Black Lives Matter. <laughs> I don't think that's right, Liam. <laughs> I don't think they want you to no. do that. No, I can feel it. You can see I'm pissing myself again. That's how I know. That's how I know. That's how I know it's time for me to go on the news. <laughs> you know, a lot of people in America are protesting, and it reminds me of a time my friend was raped by a boo. <laughs> Uh, Ireland TV has gone off the air permanently <laughs> because of Liam Neeson's recent racist fit. That's not my point. It's about how I'm not racist I'm anymore. Not anymore. I'm not anymore. But I used but to I be. I used to say the N when I had quite a bit. I, I had to get kill a any black bastard to play the villain in Batman. <laughs> I've never played a villain before. The only role I've ever played was Qui Gon Jinn in Star Wars. <laughs> A lot of people think I've been in other movies, and it's not true. That's fake. It's my it's a guy that looks it's, like me. There's a, there's a different guy. I've only played Qui-Gon Jinn and the guy in Batman. And 
Razal Ghul. Which sounds kind of like Qua Ganja. Yeah. Yeah. Which sound, I, I told my agent when I got involved in this business, I only want to play Chinese people or Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> And he said the best we can do is the bad guy in Batman and I probably Jedi would shoot well, what was supposed to be a Chinese person <laughs> when they wrote the movie and then the producers got their hands on it and said, We're trying to sell tickets to this piece of shit. <laughs> Not put on the Olympics. <laughs> Uh, get get a fucking white guy to do it. We're not we're not we're not having one of the main characters go around babbling like it's a fucking laundromat. <laughs> you can call him Qui Gon Jinn, but by goddamn, he's gonna be a fucking white guy. That's what they said. That's my best guess. And then the same thing with Batman. They said Raz Al Ghul. What about this handsome Afghani actor? And I said this isn't a fucking magazine. <laughs> We're not doing a print spread. We want people to sit there for two hours. 9-11 was 15 minutes ago. You're talking about putting a Muslim in the movie as the friendly bad guy. That's supposed to be... How is the audience not going to see that coming? That the Muslim's a bad guy. It's fucking 2005. You're tipping your hand. Yeah, fucking retards. <laughs> why, not just, why not just make him a plane? <laughs> Why not just name him United Flight 93? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> and then see if people don't see it coming. <laughs> and that's how I got my two roles. And that's and so to get in. But character. anyway, back to block people. I had to imagine the, the, <laughs> <laughs> that Batman was the same. <laughs> Batman television has gone off the air permanently. Ireland's only two channels. Ireland TV and Batman television are now gone. And we regret to inform you that we have to bring back 24 hours of Riverdance. That's the only thing that Ireland actually exports and then re-imports all of its television content as shit we sold to the Discovery Channel in the 1990s. Why the Which fuck is, was Riverdance so famous? Because Ireland has zero culture. This shit was so boring. Because Ireland is worthless. It was like interesting for f 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. That guy, what's the name? Michael Flatley. He caked up on that. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that why? Because there's, there's a Greek, there's like a British guy, Greek-British guy called Stavros Flatley. Yeah. Really? That does he's just a fat Greek guy that does river dance maybe it's the same family he stole the beast so I, I was like why flatly well I'll tell you maybe something about that uh, about Manscaped yeah maybe that guy shaved <laughs> his cock speaking of you think Stavros flatly shaves his cock yeah maybe Stavros what's maybe his face maybe guy maybe he goes to a website called manscaped.com mm -hmm. and scapes his manhood oh yeah Manscape is the only way to do trans surgery at home that's right mm-hmm it, they'll they'll lop whatever you want off, and they'll fucking glue whatever else you Manscaped want. Manscaped is is a system of clippers and a bunch of other shit and a little toiletry kit. Mm -hmm. They got a uh, what's it called again? The lawnmower three point oh. That's it. Was the ceramic because that's the thing. Bitches need to know my pubes are like a fucking lawn. Oh yeah, it's, it's like a, a whole yard, and yep. my penis is like a tiny house. I got a little. I got house. Scott's turf builder down you, there. You look at my shit, and it looks like a giant. It looks like a farm. Mm hmm. All pubes, and then a silo. A little dude. ass red silo. A little tiny fire hydrant <laughs> filled with grain. <laughs> And that's why I use the Manscaped system to shave down my pubes. I shave down my pubes and I fill my foreskin up with oats. Yeah. The Lawnmower 3.0 is also waterproof. And it comes with mm -hmm. an LED light so you can manscape in the shower or in the dark. Yeah. A lot of people, they go to shave their, their dick in the shower and they get electrocuted. Yep. A lot. I was, oh, What mm. was that? 4,000 people died of yeah. that last week? Yeah. It's actually, if you're a regular listener to the show, you know that I've been building an electric chair to kill myself. In. That's right. And one of the most important aspects of the electric chair is you got to be completely hairless for the electric so uh -huh. true for the That's electrodes true. to work. Mm -hmm. And so I've been shaving myself um, in preparation for killing myself in my homemade electric chair. Right. And uh, you know, I mean, with any project, you keep putting it off and putting it off. And now I've become addicted to shaving myself. That's yep. right. And uh, and especially your cock and balls. Especially my penis and asshole. Right. And uh, I leave I leave uh, a ring around 
Yeah, I like my dick to look like the dog from Little White Rascals. Of course, uh-huh. yes. Who I think his name is Dickhead. If I remember, I, I believe Pussy so. Face. Where are the names again? It was Skinny, uh, Fog Hat, Buck Face, mm-hmm. uh, fat, Dickhead, fat Chinese boy. Andy. Yeah, Chinese Andy. That's yeah. right. Jimmy the Kike. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's Italian. I don't believe that. <laughs> he was, yeah, he's Italian. He's Italian. Yeah, folks. He His was a name time. was he King chose King the, he was the, he chose the name <laughs> and he was a time we all remember Little we Rascals. all remember Little Rascals. oh man oh yeah, yeah how can and all those kids those were all grown men yeah. who shaved their face armpits and penis yeah. with the lawnmower three guys oh, no. yeah it's the thirties we're all malnourished thirty year olds it never grew past four foot one. <laughs> Good thing we have the Manscaped Clippers to shave our penis and balls Uh so we can go into Mr. Feldman's candy store and steal all of his candy (laughs) as revenge for his authoring of the Protocols of the (laughs) Elders of Zion. (laughs) We know it was him. Mm -hmm. Boy, ain't we just a group of stinkers? (laughs) Ain't we just a group of anti-Semitic stinkers? stinkers? Hey, what, uh, little, little Rascals was an entertaining show about a group of anti-Semitic <laughs> children, children. <laughs> that would go around bullying Jewish business owners, <laughs> which in a modern context seems kind of absurd and borderline offensive in some some regards. But back then, you have to understand, this was before the Holocaust, and a lot of people agreed with those ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and and seeing children realize this sort of affirmed those values for mm-hmm. people more, in a way that was more touching and endearing and palatable to American audiences in a way a screaming German could never be. Never. That's correct. Hitler could never do what uh, Jimmy the mm-hmm. we know who. And boy, did they try. And then we cut to a reel of Hitler being like, I'm just a baby. I'm a cute baby. Look at me. Does this work? Do you like it if I'm a baby? Mm-hmm. And that didn't sell anyway. It didn't no. sell. It didn't sell. And so, so ironically, it, it was actually Jewish producers in, in Los Angeles that came up with the idea for the anti Semitic gang. <laughs> they said, What if what if we do a show? We could get people to watch it and it's about this Holocaust thing they're doing. Uh oh, yeah. I think a lot of people would like it. And they're like, But we're kind of losing sight of what we want here, which is to sell Clippers. Clippers. Yeah. Cock clippers. That, that was the and point. And nail kits. The yes. shears 2.0. The shears. It's a Which perfect allow add-on. you to pluck your eyebrows and trim your mm-hmm. nails in style. And the nicest thing about Manscaped is when you're done shaving, you can... You, the Eat the, your pubes. Well, you can mail your pubes back to the company, and it, they have a tooth fairy promise. That's mm-hmm. so true. Where they'll send you... They weigh your pubes, and it's $20 to the pound. So when you get your Manscaped kit... Just the return address is right on there. They want they do not actually do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do. No, they, they do. do. They just yeah, mail your fact. mail your pubes to <laughs> Manscaped. Yeah, just find an one in a hundred Manscaped right. Avenue. And then yeah. yeah, and they make sure to tag them on Instagram saying this is. Look what a great job you did We're removing doing the Manscaped challenge. Uh, using the Manscaped, Manscaped challenge. challenge. Make sure to take a picture, <laughs> create a burner account on Instagram, <laughs> shave your dick and balls, and <laughs> tag Manscaped. Tag Manscaped. Show them what a great job you did shaving your but dick and balls. Make sure when you do it, you're using the lawnmower 3.0. And make sure you hit them with the promo code. What's that promo code, Adam? Uh, the promo code is code, code here. here. <laughs> it's either come town or come town. In fact, <laughs> listeners of the show got twenty percent off free shipping with the code code here at manscaped.com. <laughs> so it's probably come town. Come it's, town or come town twenty. I don't have my phone, so I can't check my. That's twenty percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code. XXX. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to grab it's, uh, We should know this. It's either come town it's, or come town you know, just fucking, Here's how it works. Just you put the, the code in. The important thing is you, you mail them if your they say it's it come town. T- I'm almost positive it's come town 20. Yeah, because it's 20% off. But if for some reason that does not work, try come town. It's, try, it's time but, to grab 2020 by the horns by shaving the front that front trunk. That's nice. some copy then. Go ahead yeah, and that Adam thought and of. shave your penis and balls and tweet a picture to the president Donald Trump <laughs> with hashtag stop him. <laughs> with hashtag he will not sh- t- suck my penis. Actually, you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. Hashtag you're fired. 
Manscaped.com promo code CUMTOWN20 mm-hmm. and then a picture of your penis being sent to the president <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> There's actually a prize. The person who has the most average, if you can find out the exact average size dick down to, it needs to be nine decimal places. Mm-hmm. And if you can hit that, you're going to need digital calipers here. So you're going to have to calip your dick. Yes, Kaleep. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Calip? Yeah, I need to get my dick Kaleeped. Calypso. Calyptico. Calypso music. I love that. Yeah. I love the Calypso. Why don't you guys say some other things about about the thing that I might have forgotten that is important? I think we we got it all. They're quiet, right? Quiet, waterproof. Waterproof. Ceramic or some bullshit. (laughs) Yeah. They shave your pussy, too. They, they did a, a bunch light. of shit where they did, like, I guess they made it so that it can't cut your balls. It doesn't. That's true. I have got ceramics. It can't suck your shit into the blades. I have never nicked my cock with it, and I've shaved it's my impossible. cock with it multiple times. It's mm. impossible. So <clears throat> you're going to love it. You're going to love clipping your fucking nails with whatever bullshit they also have. The Shears 2.0 and make this, whatever this subscription thing is. Yeah, do whatever the fuck they want. Just go to the website, manscaped.com, look at all the products, sign up for whatever the fuck they want you to, and use promo code CUMTOWN and or CUMTOWN20. Do it or I'll become pissed off. I'm going to get pissed. I'm going to get more pissed. I'm going to become sexually pissed. (laughs) You don't want that. Nick, Nick, you were talking about the electric chair. Have you seen that documentary, Mr. Death? Have you ever seen my penis? No. (laughs) Actually, yeah, while we were peeing. Dr. Death. Mr. Death. Dr. Death. It's the Errol Morris What did you think about his penis when you saw it, Adam? It's the movie The Thin Blue I thought it was all right. Um... No, it's not the, the thin, thin blue, blue line. line and the character's name is No, Dr. it's about this guy. So basically, <laughs> my friend recommended I watch this. The street. thin blue line is a documentary about Adam's penis. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> when, he's, when he's dressed up as Sonic. Well, it does have <laughs> ve- the veins. The veins are thin. The veins are pink. No, no the veins are pink. But I've the, got blue veins. The you've got penis pink is blue. I've got multiple with, thin blue lines with on my penis. Blood. Your oh, penis actually sucks. I don't know. Your dick. Women's youth and vitality. Your dick hasn't been used so much. Much that it's starting to go blue like a corpse's dick. Uh, it's, it's your dick is I actually. It's your entire genitalia area looks like the brain bug from Starship Troopers, <laughs> and your weird blue dick extends out of the mouth and it's stabs. Mm-hmm. It stabs into. Uh, it's, it's pink, but it has stalks. It's blue, and it's, it's blue. got pink veins. It's thin. It's blue and you go to manscape.com <laughs> and use promo code Cometown Twenty to get that pink penis sent directly to your door. <laughs> To get the pink penis shaver sent directly to your door. We got to make sure we hit all those. Whatever the things are. Yeah, we hit all the... Th- I feel like there's something missing. No, they got the they got the <laughs> trimming kit. They got the... The shears. The shears. And the shears are a good deal. The shears you get. Stainless steel tools. Uh, tip tweezers. Round point. Pluck your eyebrows scissors. and trim your nails in style. Mm-hmm. Uh, finger nail luxury four piece nail kit grit, featuring nail files. tempered stainless steel tools. <laughs> this is the kind of shit they make watches out of, folks. You'll also find listen, fine Swiss watches. And on their website, you'll find the crop preserver, an anti chafing ball deodorant, and moisturizer. Yeah, they got yeah. a toner. This will help you tame that summer swamp ass with natural hydrators and antioxidants. Mm-hmm. You'll also find the crop reviver. A testy toner Uh that's like having cologne that is designed for your balls. What a really useful ass thing. No, it is useful. We won't judge you if you catch. If you're in some stank puss. If we catch you sniffing yourself. If you're in some stank puss and then you have a business meeting. You don't have time to shower. And the the secretary is going to smell your nuts to let you in. You don't want the Japanese because you got a big meeting with the Japanese. Mm You don't want them smelling that nasty pussy. We've all been pussy. there when you pull your pants down and a woman's like, oh my God, what the fuck is that? And you're like, I'm sorry, I had to put my penis in my ass because I was on the train and there was a woman <laughs> breastfeeding. And I didn't want to get too hard while looking at her. And, and that's why you use the crop reviver. And you need the crop, you need the dick reviver, the crop reviver, because your penis has been shoved into your into asshole. your own ass, and mm. some of the shit has run from the tip of your penis all the way to your balls. It's inside your penis. So go to manscaped.com and check it's out their life-changing life changing life life changing product. Life changing. Life changing product. My life was changed because I was actually I was shaving my penis while driving, yeah. and a school bus pulled up next to me, and then what happens? Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then right. now I'm on the sex offender registry. Yeah, right. and you got to knock on all the doors. Which, which is usually a pretty bad thing, but I don't have any friends. So it actually became a really great way to meet people. Right. 
Now every Shit. week I have to go check in with my probation officer and I talk to people. He's say, a friend. I say, you're a chomo also. Right. And, and chomo. most of the men are mentally disabled, I'll, I'll admit. You you would think it would be other kind of slick, smooth operator criminals. <laughs> but uh, no, for the most part, the entire sex offender registry is mentally enfeebled uh, you know, uh, people with no support network that, uh, are, right. you know, mentally are 11 years old. Uh, yes. So right. Sexually, they are. And as I well. tell you what, when you're done shaving your penis and balls, you can go on over to MacWeldon. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> Just to put them. Yep. In. You got this beautiful shaved penis. Yeah. You're going to want to put why, in some why the hell luxury goes? underwear. You might as well just <laughs> cruise right on over oh. to MacWeldon.com. <laughs> I love, I love the new chapter. Uh, yeah. I love uh, this. Dude, I, I love it more than you, Adam. Mm. Because with and if the, you're at home and you figured out what's going on now, wait until we're at five an app, pal. <laughs> yeah. Wait until the whole thing looks like a fucking stock car. It's, We're it's selling the <laughs> fuck out. Because, oh, this shit's about to be Blade Runner. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know about if you guys know this, but Mac Weldon is a premium <laughs> men's essential brand. It's that believes in smart, smart designs, designs, yeah, high quality fabrics. Dude, I tell you, I've been. Um, I've been I've been I've been wearing them recently because I they sent us another promo deal. That's awesome. When we had the recent batch of these come through, mm-hmm. I love them. I I threw out most of my other underwear. That's beautiful. I might go get my, myself a grip on the whole thing. You uh, get socks, uh, shirts, and you're in luck because for whatever reason, last time the 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 non fat sizes were sold out. So. Oh, nice. If you're a big fat guy, now's the time to go to Mac Well, I'm, 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 well hold on. I'm, I'm going right now. Yeah. <laughs> no. Excuse me, sir. You've you're too fat for the clothes. <laughs> you fat for the co- what? He's actually not, folks. If you're a big fat piece of shit, go to Mac Weldon. Yeah, they, got, Mac Weldon. they have fat com. sizes. It is very funny that like because with other sh- stuff, it's like I understand there's like the difference in fabric between like a medium shirt and a three XL, but it pales in comparison to the difference in size of underwear. Yeah, like fucking underwear for fat. That is so much more material. What what do you think? Underwear for fat people is more than than the sh- the ratio. Yeah, yeah. No and way. that's why I'm jealous of Stop for being fat because he gets a better deal. You get he get a better deal. He gets more t shirt. He gets a better deal. He gets more if underpants. Go, Hi, my name's Mikey, and I'm on the sex offender register. <laughs> a lot of people are wondering how I wound up there. What well, kind of underwear I wear? I got so excited in the ball pit at McDonald's that I ate all of my clothes. <laughs> I was eating chicken McNuggets, and I thought it was a 20-piece. Actually, it was a five. Kind of got carried away and just sucked up all my clothes into my mouth, ate them, mm-hmm. and then, well, there you go. Now I'm nude in a ball pit, and here come the cops. <laughs> boop, boop. Yeah. And one of my friends I met at the parole office's uh, waiting room <laughs> introduced me to Mack Weldon underwear, which is great for me because it's some of the only underwear that actually fits over my head. That's true. Because... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to put on underwear. <laughs> I have to go from the top. top As down. stated earlier, I have no safety net, no support network, <laughs> no one to put my underwear on for me. So I go from my parole offices all the way back to my house where I have to spend hours putting underwear on from the top. Mm-hmm. And luckily, MacWeldon.com makes that easy for me. Very a easy. mentally disabled man on the yeah. sex offender registry. That's right. Mac Weldon's prime demographic. <laughs> <laughs> and that what they like is that it's a one-stop shop of men's essentials. Mm-hmm. We're talking socks, shirts, hoodies, underwear, polos, and active shorts. Whatever you need. Whatever the fuck you need, Mac Weldon promises comfort and conditions of fit. Mm-hmm. You're not just going to look great in Mac Weldon. Their underwear, socks, and shirts perform well, too. When I went out to find that black bastard, the first thing I did was put on a comfortable <laughs> pair of premium fabric underwear. <laughs> That's right. From working out, going out, going to work. And it felt so good on my cock. The racism <laughs> just slipped away. <laughs> That's right. And then I pissed myself. And then, he, and, and but then I a, did one of my classic pissing my pants in public moves. Mm-hmm. And was there's so many for, pictures of him like that I, with his with, with his pants just absolutely. He's pants. pissed himself like five times. Uh, Liam Neeson, <laughs> yeah. Gerard Depardieu as well. There's well, a ton. Here's the of nice him thing: pissing himself. <laughs> that's, that's why you should Being use. Being so Mac- drunk, you piss yourself on a plane. <laughs> That's why you should use Mac Weldon because they offer a wide range of customized fabric yeah. that can keep up with you no matter what your day looks like or how much you piss yourself. I'm so jealous, dude. I wish, I wish I was him. 
<laughs> yeah. you just, you, you, you're the king of the world. You've, you played two of the most memorable characters of all time. Yeah. Qui-Gon, Qui-Gon Jinn. Jinn. <laughs> and, and Ra's, Ra's al Ghul. Ghul. <laughs> yeah. Two of the best characters ever. And now you just, you're jet set, pissing yourself, going on TV, blowing it, fucking getting drunk, <laughs> pissing yourself. Yeah. Doing some movie where they're like, they're like, well, the premise is, is that there's wolves and they're after you. I'll do it. Fuck it. I don't fucking care. I'll punch I don't give wolf. a shit. Do I get to keep the parka? <laughs> then I'll do it. I want is it's a Canada goose. Yeah. Everyone on production. Gets you know, I saw a bunch of Chinese people wearing them, and I thought those had got to be cheap. And it turns out, it's fucking nine hundred dollars. <laughs> I said, where the hell do these Chinese people get yes, the money for that? That's right. Well, if if uh, you know what else is very cheap and you could save money is the Weldon Blue Mac Weldon Loyalty wow. Program. Level one gets you free shipping for life. Once you reach level two, by spending two hundred dollars, Mac Weldon gives you twenty percent off every order for the next year. So level one. The amount of inches Adam's penis is, mm-hmm. or level two, the amount of inches Nick's penis is. Blue ribbon penis. That's uh, I won the war, mm-hmm. award at the agricultural fair for best penis. Uh, actually, mine is uh, one no. inch. Best in show. It's number. It's. No. I, I went home with one. the best small penis award That's and also true. best in show. <laughs> no, no, no. You won best small penis and but best, you did not win best in show and best in show. You did not win best, and best small in show. P- no, and best. My in show. penis. No, my penis was you did show. not win and best, best in show. show. Absolutely. And best I will in show. do this all show, pal. You did not win. Best my penis in show. won the toy. <laughs> The toy category. <laughs> no, that's what Nick's penis did. No, he had small penis I won, category. I won also in the, the toy. Also best in show. You did not win best in show. I won best in show. <laughs> you did not win best in show. I won best in show. It only won little penis. And it won best in show. No, well, my one, mine won tastiest. <clears throat> anyway, Mac well, I, yeah, you, I didn't won, I, you didn't win. Show. I didn't win best in show either. A guy with a bigger dick did than both of us. My penis won the sport Mac category. Mac Weldon You're wants right. you to he be did win the award. Run up to Best in Show. No, he did not win Best in Show either. Yeah, because I, I won Best in Show. <laughs> no. MacWeldon.com for winners. <laughs> that wouldn't have happened if I weren't wearing MacWeldon underwear. It did nothing happen. Which I got as an award for winning Best in Show. You didn't oh. win Best in Show. At the Cock Awards. <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at the 16th annual uh, G- Geneva Cock Award <laughs> in the Alps. We're up here at an elevation of 680,000 feet above sea level, where you're only allowed one thought a minute, and you have to sip at the air. Uh, well, folks, listen. Now, a lot of people don't understand. The reason they do it up here is because it is extremely hard to uh, maintain an erect penis or even one that's kind of chubby at this altitude. Uh, so it really evens out the playing fields because there's a lot of a lot of people that are just uh, what you may be uh, familiar with the term. Uh, what is it? Fucking showers? Shower. Showers. Shower versus grower. That's it. That's the thing I forgot as a, an announcer here at the Penis Awards. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. The altitude is so... It's fu- so fucking cold It's got here. me fucked up. But I'm fucked <laughs> up and my cock is shrinking by the minute. That's folks. why we have to do the Cock Awards on top of a mountain. And uh, again, sponsored by Red Bull. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Red Bull, for putting on That's this right. 17th Annual Cock Awards. And now to get the show started, um, we're going to... Uh, everyone's, everyone's favorite is- category, uh, the botched circumcisions. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them out here. A couple of disgusting examples right up front. And uh, But I do like the, the way... Uh, a lot of things uh, people don't consider is the way a leash pairs with the scars... Uh, you want something that sort of continues those lines <laughs> um, all the way back to the owner's hand. That's right. The owner of the botched penis. Yeah. Oh. You have to have, you could put a leash on your dick and, and you, hold you, it. You, you walk your dick. <laughs> you walk your dick out. <laughs> you walk your dick out under the, yeah, just you sachet <laughs> holding your dick on a leash. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, just, wait, and at the end of the kimono, that, with your dick fucking on a leash, you're just posing. <laughs> <laughs> at the cock awards. Beautifully done. What masterful work. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> and at like, the what end is this, ESPN3? Or like, uh, I think so. Yeah. And at the end of the uh, Cock Awards. And then they're sponsored by Mack Weldon. And Mack Weldon you wants put you to be penis back in your Mack Weldon. But, uh, once again, the award show this year is sponsored by Mack Weldon. MackWeldon.com, premium design, smart fabrics for people with all kinds of dicks. Mm-hmm. Moving on to our next category here. We're going into the heart of darkness is the Africa category. Uh, ha- Hypospasitis, or whatever that thing is called, where your dick hole is on the top of your penis. Oh, is that a real thing? I think so. There's <laughs> you piss. What's interesting is all of these men piss into their own faces. <laughs> we're gonna we're, we have a synchronized show of the hypospasitous players. They all piss over their uh, their own faces while lasers change their urine streams different colors, <laughs> and they perform Fantasia for us here on top of Cock Mountain in Geneva. <laughs> there so. we go. Pissing into each other's mouths. What a beautiful sight. What a beautiful sight. And if you want to watch that while having your, co- your cock with a regular dick hole in, re- in nice-ass underwear, mm. go to MacWeldon.com slash Cometown20 and enter promo code Cometown20 or something. And now That's we... MacWeldon.com slash Cometown20, promo code Cometown20, mm. for 20% off MacWeldon. Moving on to the Belgian tuck category All of these men. With their penises tucked into their asses, which was originally invented on the French public transit system during (laughs) World War II, when Vichy French soldiers were trying to hide their erections from the German soldiers who would kill them for being gay. (laughs) But the French soldiers were so aroused by being dominated by the Nazis uh, Uh that they had to figure out a way to hide their erections. Fuck themselves in the ass. That's where the Belgian tuck came from. Which is actually a French thing. Which is, it's interesting. They changed the name because Jean-Claude Van Damme loved doing it so much. (laughs) (laughs) That it was renamed. One man rewrote all of history. It was renamed for him after his appearance in Three Ninjas Strike Back. (laughs) Damn, that was a good... Shouts out to Three Ninjas. Which he was not he he was in a deleted scene where he demonstrates the Belgian tuck to the ninjas. To the children. Which was later removed uh, due to Jean-Claude Van Damme's anti-Semitic comments that he made <laughs> during the filming. Which they but thought... But to be clear, showing child <laughs> actors his penis and putting it in his own ass. That film. part was fine, That Jim. part was fine. Jim, that part was probably the best part of the movie, <laughs> which, as you recall, we premiered here at the Cox Show in <laughs> Geneva the all the way back in 1987, <laughs> third year of the show. Oh, fuck. MacWeldon.com. MacWeldon.com. Promo Come down 20. Come down 20. And get all the basics or whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, they got long. I'm going to check out some of those long johns they got this Bro, year. Bro, I'm about yeah. to go off. I bought a bunch of nice socks, and I'm about to go I'm about to go get nice underwear, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got nice socks on right now, but I stole them from my cousin. Nice. What kind are they? Mac I don't know, Some like Nike. Mac Weldon's? Yeah, they're Mac Those Weldon's are good socks, socks <laughs> but not as good as the Mac Weldon. No, because they are Mac Weldon's, Adam. They are Mac Weldon. Is. Mac Weldon Nikes. And now we move on to the cock in a baby sock category. <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam. Are you tired of the cock show? No, I like the, I like this bit. I'm sorry. Are you tired of the cock are show? Are you tired no, of the tired cock of show? No, I'm not. Well, what would you like to do instead? Um, do you have any ideas? Yeah. Um, it's a new season. Antonio <laughs> Brown is on the Raiders. Le'Veon Bell is with the Jets. And Odell Beckham is in Cleveland. <laughs> The one thing that hasn't changed... Well, here at the Cox Show, I guess we're cutting the commercial exactly a minute and 35 seconds too early. Okay, oh, sorry. I didn't look at really, that. I thought it was time. And this that. is the kind of shit that would get your ass pushed in if you were working if in post. Were, like, If you were a field producer like myself, Jeremy, I, Jeremy Fuckwell. I've been raped multiple times. I right. have sucked so many dicks to get into this position. <laughs> As the guy on the camera. As the guy finally on camera. As the guy having... I was the PA getting raped by Bob Costas Do you know how years. bad it is to be the PA at the cock show? <laughs> oh, it's a tough gig. Do you have any idea the kind of fluffing you have to do? Who do you think tucks all those Belgians? <laughs> the Belgian tuck. No. I need to come here, tuck me! Put in ass. Come, come tuck me! Come, uh, come Listen here. to me, asshole. Hey, come here. Hey, tuck me. Fuck you, asshole. Put my cock in my ass. I don't have time for these. Come tuck me. <laughs> hey, listen, you fuck guy. They're come here. the music, fuck guy. 
It's tuck time. Hey, Put come me. tuck me. Put me in my ass. Come on, tuck me. Tuck me in my ass. Tuck, tuck my ass. ass. Put my cock in my ass. Tuck, tuck my, my penis. Ass. Tuck my penis into my fucking ass. <laughs> you tuck my ass. <laughs> and that's all I heard for years. <laughs> and wow. And 13. We're, li- we're live. And in we're getting to head. Nine, eight, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, 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 where the host is gay. <laughs> no. The host is gay, and he's doing gay, guys. He's doing the third ad read of the show. Okay. Antonio Brown is on the Raiders. Because the he's gay. Okay. <laughs> no. You can. Yes. You don't have to da, be. Da, 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 You're gay. Da, 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 Just get to the story. This guy's gay. Le'Veon Bell. The show the where the anchor is worse than the announcer, guys. <laughs> Odell Beckham is in Cleveland. The one thing that hasn't changed is where I'm putting my money down on all games. My bookie is the place to bet on football every weekend. You can also bet on the weather. Yeah, that's right. Going now to the weather guy, who's a different character. Let's see if he can do it. Just come up with a name and do a character that's a weather guy. Hey, y'all. My name is Steven, and I'm here with the weather. Just his first name. Yes. Well, it's Stephen a- Tornado. <laughs> Stephen, there you go. No, uh, the gay weatherman. I the gayest, prefer- we- the only weatherman gayer than the anchor that started. Hi, y'all. Um, we, I want to talk to you about. Say, before- Stephen Tornado here. Stephen Tornado here, and I want to. Nice. <laughs> 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 and I want to talk to you about uh, mybookie.com, which has, has better bonuses, prop bets, and than more prop bets than any other sportsbook, period. This year they're hosting, <laughs> they're hosting the first online handicapping super contest. First this just in. Some breaking news. Something really gay happened. Let's go to a different anchor. We're on going the scene. live on scene to. Hey, this is uh, Deshaun uh, Simpson. <laughs> Deshaun Simpson. Okay, Just, whatever. Let's see if we what's can get through break? it without saying the N word. <laughs> let's the go break? to Deshaun. What's the breaking? Let's Deshaun. see if Deshaun can do three minutes without saying the N word that we have to delete. <laughs> Deshaun Simpson here, and I want to let you know. Do that. the voice. Don't be a pussy. (laughs) Don't be a pussy. We all know what you meant by Deshaun Simpson. No, you could be some, you know, like a a white guy. At least say y'all. Hey, y'all. First place is guaranteed to win at least $100,000. And what do they do with your deposit? And uh, they double it. When they shove it up your ass. Up to to a thousand thousand first deposit bonus. Isn't that right, Deshaun? That's right, y'all. What's your favorite food, Deshaun? Uh, I like a uh, crudite, like just different. Very foods. close. <laughs> you almost said crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind was going we towards know crispy. What you were going to say? Okay, because you didn't want to say fried chicken, but you couldn't stop thinking about it. Uh, every, everyone likes chicken, and it was sublimated into crispy. <laughs> it's not just one type of person that likes chicken. I mean. Basically Would you culture. say that my bookie is always the right play, Deshaun? My, yeah, of is course. it always the right play? Follow up question: What race of women are you most attracted to, <laughs> and how fat are they? <laughs> and what body part needs to be the fattest? <laughs> well, uh, well, that's a trick question because we're on the gay news right now, and I, Deshaun Simpson, or am a gay man, so I'm attracted to all races of women as just as friends. MyBookie.com has live in-game betting on NFL games. They've got the most rewarding player perks in the business. And for your fantasy guys out there, you can even bet on the over-under of how many fantasy points a player will score each game. Thanks, Deshaun. Kick it back to the original anchor. Let's go back to the uh, Adam Friedland in the studio. 
Hey, hey y'all, it's me, Adam. No, it's the that's, real Adam. That's why my bookie is always right. Breaking right. news, the real Adam has returned. <laughs> you bet you win, they pay. No. And the imposter Adam has returned to UCB for more comedy lessons. <laughs> my bookie has live in game betting on every NFL game. So use promo code COMETOWN to activate the offer. That's promo code C-U-M-T-O-W-N. It's me, Adam Friedland. Visit my bookie online today. That's my bookie, M Y. B O O K I E. And don't forget to use the promo code Comtown. Promo <laughs> code Comtown. Bet, win, get paid. I've been fucked in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> this Justin, the president. <laughs> the, we cut right now to my the president giving a live speech. Let my fellow Americans, the president, me, has been fucked in his ass. <laughs> 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 Who did it, Mr. President? The Mujahideen. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little preview. <laughs> the Mujahideen. <laughs> <have fucked him. laughs> the Mujahideen. <laughs> fuck, dude. Uh, we My fellow Americans, we will we, prevail. We have all been fucked <laughs> in the ass by the Mujahideen. <laughs> Every American is, your is waking up to find that they have all been fucked. By it's the Christmas Mujahide. morning here in Washington, <laughs> and I've been fucked in my ass by the Mujahideen. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see a president not fucked again in his ass, you will send fifty million dollar to bank account one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Pakistan bank <laughs> by noon or we fuck him again and again and again. We gotta do something. The president's up there right now getting fucked in his ass. <laughs> A couple. <sighs> Did you want to say something? No. Go ahead, try just finish it. The news, just finish the You're news. You're a professional comedian. Okay. Well, on your own podcast. Uh, but, I mean, I thought we finished the read. We did, but you were about the, to say the something. The is still going on. The gay news is still going yeah. on? You doing jokes in All the right. context of doing the podcast. Okay, I'll... <laughs> you were about to say something. We're supporting you. This is what no. support looks like. I wasn't like. going to say it. This is as close as it gets to being supported. <laughs> uh, th this just in to the gay news. Um, yeah, what is it? LeBron James. What about him? Uh, NBA champion Le LeBron uh, James. Is he gay? Has He's been fucked in his ass. <laughs> <by the laughs> this, this, I'm the president, and my now fellow, I'm the anchor. My fellow Americans, <laughs> I'm Barack Obama, and I'm gay. <laughs> uh, Twelve former presidents have, have come also out. My name fucked. is President Ryan Schutt. <laughs> I've been fucked in and my I'm ass. Barack Obama, Obama and, I'm and I'm gay. And I've been fucked by the Mujahideen. <laughs> 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 Uh, 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 oh yeah, brother. Yeah. Boo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> the gay, the gay news, news with Adam Friedland. With Adam Friedland. The gayest uh, anchor uh, of uh, all uh, time. Uh, he's, uh, he's getting uh, fucked, he's sucking, and he's getting sucked. This isn't just any room. It's a newsroom. <laughs> <laughs> does he say that on the show? <laughs> I, he I hope he says that. Yeah. Come on, guys. We're not just in a room here. We're in the newsroom. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, can we go live here, please? Can we go live? Kathy Giffords has just been shot in her pussy. <laughs> All right? This isn't this isn't fucking clown room. It's newsroom. It's the newsroom. newsroom. What do you think this is? A room full of midgets and donkeys? What if this isn't a donkey show? All right? It's the newsroom. It's the newsroom. Mm -hmm. So what do, what do people want when they watch the news? They want to see a donkey? Have sex with a woman's pussy. <laughs> Maybe in Mexico. But not in a room I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of a newsroom. I'm thinking of a newsroom. I'm thinking of a room filled with the news. <laughs> <laughs> Every kind of news that you could possibly read. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
Damn, my fucking Fitbit's yeah. going off. Dude. I gotta get 240 steps. 240 steps. You got 240 to go today? No. It's like a watch. More. But it doesn't tell time. It bullies fat people <laughs> into standing up. Into barely doing the bare Into not to doing alive. any. So they feel worse and buy even more products. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Don? That we make fat people feel even worse? And they, that's exactly what that's I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I say we get them fat. We plumped them up. We're putting caramel in the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> We're putting candy in the cigarettes. <laughs> A way they get even fatter. We can make them smoke and buy bullshit watches. <laughs> Shouts out to the gay Lucky Strikes guy trying to suck off Sal. Yeah. Iconic. Mm-hmm. An iconic gay predator. I've actually never watched more than like six episodes of that show. Really? Yeah. It's a waste of time. You don't like it? I thought it was a waste of time. Nah, dude, it's pretty good. There's yeah. pussy. There's plenty of pussy in it. Yeah. January. <coughs> you see a lot of breasts. It's pretty nice. He I, fingers. I don't think you see no. bare breasts in the show. What it's the a, fuck are you talking It's on AMC. Wait, are you, you don't serious? see bare titties. Did I just, wreck, in my imagination, retcon yeah. titties into it's it? Yeah, it's not HBO. Fuck. Yeah, there's a lot of clothed that. fingering that happens. There's a lot yeah, of clothed, clothed fingering. fingering. How does that feel? Do you like feel that? Good? Does it feel good? You know what? I don't have a problem with clothes fingering. It feels it feels cool. How does it feel when I put my fingers inside of your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Not very good, Mr. Draper. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mr. Draper, I'd like it if you took your fingers out of my ass. <laughs> Maybe you should just let me finish my pitch. <laughs> I have three cock awards. <laughs> I have 15 awards from the Cox Show. <laughs> I've won Best in Show every year. I'm the greatest advertiser this company's ever seen. <laughs> yeah, he probably does have a nice one. The character and the real guy. The real yeah. guy got in trouble for having too nice of a one. Yeah. Not too big. Not ni- We don't know if it's nice. Well, yeah, for me, big is not nice. You're absolutely right. I remember uh, the smaller the nice. It was the third season. The producers queen. came to me and they demanded I do the Belgian talk. <laughs> and uh, at first I was disgusted And then I looked into the history of it And uh, I got really involved in the cock show <laughs> and, <laughs> and I've been here every year since <laughs> Competing in the uh, best <laughs> cock through dress pants category <laughs> Oh, he crushed I've yet, I've yet yeah. to win I've yet to win But uh, <laughs> it's always, uh, Idris got him Idris got him last Idris, year Idris wins every year <laughs> <laughs> And I, I told Liam Neeson about it and we were at a bar, and he got so mad that he pissed himself and ran out. <laughs> and he just beat the shit out of the first black guy he saw. The first black bastard. And he was just screaming, this is what you get for having a better cock than my, my dear friend John. This is what you get. And I said, Liam, this isn't you. This isn't what you, this is not and who you are. And he said, you're man. right, this is, this is Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> and we just bonded over our ability to act yeah, to and just, disappear into I your respected characters. how much he was into the character. Yeah. And he would commit a violent hate crime <laughs> <laughs> to make Batman more real, <laughs> to help Batman, the to, mo- help. to help to help movie be bu- be bu- good. <laughs> He's helping movie be good by being being serious, serious and real, being serious mm-hmm. actor. <clears throat> oh, fuck man, fuck mate. Oh, fuck, mate. Method acting is so fucking funny. Because you know fucking Sean Penn was going around acting like a retard in between scenes. Oh, yeah. You know, that's got to be like, that's probably a a bigger kept secret than (laughs) all the fucking, the the planes and secret islands. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. His fucking... The footage of him when they said cut. Yeah. (laughs) How he was behaving. Him in in his trailer playing with Legos and shitting himself. (laughs) The collective (laughs) sigh of the cast and crew after they held, said cut. Mm Mm-hmm. I can't. It's, I, oh God! I didn't mean it. He's doing it again. Pulling his dick out, making people look at it. Yeah, smiling. It's nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tonight <laughs> on putting Adam on the spot. This just in. <laughs> Adam's gay. Adam's being put on the spot again. <laughs> okay, let's go. This time. I'm going to start with a letter, and you immediately say what first pops in your mind. N. Okay. <laughs> what? N. You said N. Nick. Ooh. Finish it. <laughs> say the rest of the word. Alice. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> 
That's not what you were thinking. No, 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 no. Um, tonight's episode of trying to get Adam to say the N word again. I mean, just <laughs> Don at the front of a boardroom. <laughs> he like, flips a page on a. <laughs> just a big N. <laughs> 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 God damn it, Don. <laughs> yeah, <buddy. laughs> what is this making <laughs> What are you guys thinking right now? Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep flipping pages, and it's up to you to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Don, no. Uh, <laughs> Don, where's this going? Don, I think we all get the point. You know exactly where it's going. And that's how London Fog is going to sell umbrellas. Oh, did I have you for a second? <laughs> <laughs> Nighttime tea. <laughs> <laughs> you trick people into thinking you're going to be racist, and then you don't. That's how you get their attention. Um, we can't do that. Everybody's doing woke advertising now. Well, that's where we we go different. All right. That's where I think I already did the bit on the show about Don pitching the. He's like, it's young man in Ohio, and he's running a Dodge Challenger. And he's headed to the protest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. And then Kylie Jenner hands a Pepsi to the cop. <laughs> <laughs> and the cop pulls out, pulls down his pants, and you expect to see a penis, but he's had it cut off and turned into a vagina. <laughs> and then Kylie Jenner gets down on her knees, and he, she starts sucking off. She says, "This is this is a real vagina, and I'm a lesbian." <laughs> and then she drinks, she washes the taste out of her mouth with a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a guy there who turns into a dragon. He's like, "This is good," and everyone cheers for him. And then he turns into a dragon and flies away. <laughs> and guess where he goes? That's right, the moon to drink mm -hmm. Pepsi. To drink Pepsi. Boom. Ba -da -bum 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 it's the most expensive ad in history. I don't, what's the end? He pitches Coke or something? Yeah, the, I'd like to yeah, well, buy uh, the world a Coke. Um, well, at the end of the one with the Charlottesville thing? No, at no. the end of the show, Mad Men. Oh. That's his final pitch. Oh, it's Coca-Cola. suck the mm -hmm. world a dick. Interesting. And fuck him in it's, the it's, ass. it's weird that it lines up almost perfectly with my idea. It's like he stole it. It's like they stole it from me, even though I've never watched it. You're in the future. And I'm in the future. Yeah. Mm. We've got to go back. Mm -hmm. We've got a high ground. Marty. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Marty. I figured out how to take a gay car and use it to rape girls in the past. <laughs> they don't know what DNA is in the 20s, Marty. They'll have no way to track me down. <laughs> That's why we have to rape our own grandmothers. <laughs> Even if they do preserve the DNA, it won't make any sense. <laughs> They'll think she did it to herself. <laughs> I, I don't really want to do that, Doc. Marty, you got to check this out. I shoved a Rubik's Cube up my <laughs> ass and solved it. <laughs> well, that is pretty cool, Doc. That's pretty cool, Doc. I got to say, lie. this is one of your science tricks. Don't you fucking love science? <laughs> I love to fuck a guy's ass. Bill, fuck. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill, not the gay-ass guy. Being gay is a property of matter. I'm gay. Folks, listen, I would like... What's up, kids? Today on Bill and I, we're going to talk about masks. Do they actually work? Nope. There's no reason to wear one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fake virus yeah, a fake created disease, by folks. Israel. They sent it to China <laughs> to accuse the Chinese of being vampires. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Bill Nye is fucking gay. Bill Nye sucks up, guys. <laughs> 
Mm, folks, listen, I'd love for you to come see me do uh, comedy live in person while that's still going on. I'm in Royersford, Pennsylvania, this Friday. Pennsylvania. 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 I'm in Royersford, Pennsylvania. Friday, October 16th. Where is that? Uh, it's, I don't know exactly where the fuck Who it cares? is. But it's Soul Joel's Outdoor Comedy Club. Nice. And he's not black, apparently. I thought Soul Joel was going to be an awesome black guy with a fucking... This is just a white man with soul. He's a white man with he's soul. He's Australian. So come out to that, October 16th. Then I'm at good old McGooby's Joke House, Halloween weekend. The 30th and the 31st. So come out to that. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get some other dates going if it's if the virus, if it's proven that it's fake. And uh, we'll keep pumping. But for now, those are the dates. Come see me then, you little fucking whores. And check out come.town. I have probably a couple new products hitting the store this week. Waiting on them to be pre-printed that way, when you order them, they ship faster because usually the way we do it is I'll just roll something out and then they wait until X amount of orders come in before mm. before printing them. And I want to put the kibosh on that, so mm-hmm. I'm pre-ordering them myself. So when you <clears> hit the <throat> store, you order them, and they should ship relatively ship quickly. right away. Relatively quickly. Not sure if it's right away. I don't really trust it will be right away. that <laughs> they will do it right away. It's going to happen immediately. Just They're in case. And loaded. Theoretically, yes. It's supposed to be right away. <laughs> <laughs> and the USPS is standing by. US penis. You suck penis. You suck penis. Mm-hmm. Folks, Oops. we'll keep the post office, but I'm changing the name to You Suck Penis. <laughs> And that's when you, you have to call them up and say, I suck penis if you want your mail. Every day. <laughs> ah, fuck. Well, all right. Time to hit the button. Hitting the button. Goodbye, folks.